Y'all gonna learn. Activate, swag. Activate, sneaks. Activate, ooh. Activate, me. Activate, 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 ooh. Ask about Tony Parker. I mean, what's it going to be like to play with a guy like him? Tony Parker. You hear about that? I'm playing with Tony Parker. Yeah, Charlotte signed Tony Parker. When? Just like an hour ago. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, just kind of what are your first thoughts? You got Tony Parker? Where? That's crazy. I didn't even know that. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's. I needed that. I mean, to have a guy like that come in, I mean, just kind of what are your, uh, obviously, your first reactions to it? Oh, you see my first check. No, I'm, um, I'm going to try to get his number as quickly as possible and learn, learn as much as much as I can. I, I didn't even know we had him. That's crazy. At the moment. So you went 9 for 15 from 3. So apparently you've gotten the memo. The NBA wants its big men to be able to shoot from distance. Yeah, you know, I, I always you know, shoot with my dad. You know, my dad always makes sure to get shots up when I was younger. And, you know, Coach Izzo, same thing. And then, you know, the training, you know, it just kept shooting. And that line gets farther back. You just got to keep practicing. The altitude is different here, so you got to get your win. And that's all I've been doing was shooting around, you know, before the game, I shoot around, and thank God, you know, I got a lot to go in today. And Western Conference is a tough place. DeMarcus Cousins now apparently a Golden State Warrior. Looking for a reaction? Yeah, now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are, you, are you being? I'm absolutely serious. Uh, well, it's the Western Conference, you know. Every, we're all up for a challenge. That's why we're in the West. Um, you know, but, you know, it's... We're focused on us, and we're just gonna keep playing games. We got a game tomorrow, so that's all we're focused on. One game at a time. Wait, what? Literally, Kevin Louie just found out two minutes ago. Yeah, they just put out a statement two minutes ago. Seriously? Man, prayers and condolences go out to his family. Damn. I don't even know what to say, man. Damn. Keep going. During this game, we got the really devastating news. The Spurs announced that Aaron, Coach Popovich's wife, officially passed away. I know you're close with Pop. Any words or thoughts you'd like to share with him? I'm a huge Pop fan. Uh, I love Pop. Um, that's, a, that's such a tragedy. And, um, you know, my best wishes goes out to, to, to Pop and his family. Uh, I know that's, that's devastating news. And um, it's just a lot. I mean, the NBA family, we all stick together. I know we compete every night. Uh, but something like this happens, it, it puts everything in perspective. So. Uh, you know, I send my, I send my, uh, my, my well wishes and my prayers up to the heavens above. I know the man above never makes a mistake, even when you sometimes have to um, ask why. But uh, that's just terrible news. And um, uh, best of luck to Pop Man and, and everybody in San Antonio, the whole Spurs family. That's all I can say, Ali. LeBron, thank you so much for your time. You guys, our thoughts and prayers with Pop and his family. All right, Hassan, the news of the day is the report is out right now that you guys have traded to reacquire Dwayne Wade and he will be back with the team. What does it mean having someone like that who you broke in with and having his presence back for the stretch run? He's joking or he's for real? For real. For real. He for real? That's what's being reported. Oh. What would it mean to have Dwayne Wade joking. not joking and for real back with his team for the stretch run? Should be great, man. I love D-Wade. D-Wade! I love D-Wade, man. Throw them logs, you know. That'd be great. You had a real nice chemistry with him. You broke in. Those are probably some of your best days, if not your best days with the Heat. To get back to that in time for a playoff run, what does that have you feeling now that you just found out? I want to say on my best days. I felt some like of last year was pretty good, you know. But uh, it definitely, it definitely, um, I definitely got a lot more logs, you know. It was, a, it was definitely um, a lot more dunks. So, uh, you know, his IQ is amazing. You know, um, 
I think sometimes people take that for granted. Like a guy that got such a great IQ coming off the pick and rolls, you know, and um, it really wasn't something that we had to work out. We just had an understanding of each other. And um, just, just that communication in the game, on, a, on, on off the court, you know, it was just a, um, a great chemistry. Son, what do you, when Ira just told you that, what goes through your mind? I thought he was joking. You know, I still think, I, I mean, I, I didn't realize until like all y'all had like a serious face. I really thought y'all was joking with me. You know, Ira, he loved joking with me, you know. You know, he loved, he loved talking about the OGs, you know. He caught me off guard. You know, this whole, I, I didn't know. So you know, you, but you go make a phone call now. Well, I mean, I mean, if it's true, man, it's I don't know. I don't know what they saying we traded for him, but second round pick. Like, oh man, <laughs> come on back, D Wade, man. Come on back, man. man be great, man. I love it. Great news for me. To me, in, in my eyes, you know, I've been watching D Wade since I was little. Son, you guys just played against them. I know earlier in the year there were criticisms. People were saying, oh, he looks like he's old or washed up. He's not the same player he was. Come on, man. D-Wade is, uh, D-Wade can make people better around him without, uh, and, and, and his score gonna come, you know, and, uh, I think, I think, I think his passing ability is, um, like I said, I think overlooked a lot of times, you know, and, um, just the way he can set people up, you know, I, I, I think it's overlooked a lot of times, but, uh, you know, that'd be a great addition, you know. Bring him back. Hassan, is he a guy that in the last, last five, four minutes of a game, just in case of an emergency break glass, is that, is that D Wade? Yeah. I mean, I mean it, definitely, it definitely was when he was here. Yeah. You know, me and D Wade ran a pick and roll. You know, hey, you can pick your poison, in, and he's not a guy that's going to run into three people and shoot a fadeaway three or a fadeaway two. He's going he gonna to throw a lob. He's going to make, make the right plays. He not gonna, he's not going to shoot some, some something silly up. So um, you know, so so that that that's definitely a big advantage of, you know, it's it's, a, it's different between being a guy, being a go-to guy that people want to be a go-to guy, and actually being a go-to guy, and, and he he actually proved that he's actually a go-to guy. <laughs> You know Gore's gonna bounce back and be still be Gordon Hayward when he when he gets back from injury, but it just sucks to see, man. So we're all praying for him. We all got his back. This is a fraternity, and um, when stuff like that happens, we gotta we gotta try to rally around each other. Those men down there, they're hungry. They're hungry for our rings, but we've got to be hungrier than them. Yeah. We've got to be greedier. Yeah. Warriors, we will hold this war, we will hold this title, and we will hold my dick! My dick. David Lee. Can you let me up? I um I brought Chipotle. 